Welcome in, everyone, to another edition of the PCFF Podcast. I'm very excited about today's show because today we will have a first-time guest. He is the owner of the Vegas Vipers. He is Jameson Long, and he joins us live from uh, sunny California. And uh, we're going to go out to the PCFF live line and talk to Jay Long right now. Mr. Long, how you doing? Hey, Cliff. Good to be here. First time in a long time. <laughs> I'm 735 pounds. <laughs> Jameson was ready for his first appearance on the show. Got in a first time, long time, and a DP reference. Very nice. Jameson, let's talk about the 2012 Vegas Vipers. You made a pick in the first round of the draft that I wanted. I thought about moving back to four, maybe five and taking one Matthew Stafford, but I ended up going for the future, taking Trent Richardson, but you got to be happy with uh, adding that gunslinger to your roster. Oh, we're, we're thrilled. You know, we, we had a lot of trepidation. We thought that he might got might have got snagged earlier, sitting on six. Contemplated moving up a couple times, but we uh, st- stuck to our guns. Uh, we liked some of the other available quarterbacks uh, in case we weren't able to get them, but when we saw Matt's, Sitting there at number six, it was pretty much a no-brainer for us. So, uh, uh, again, we're ecstatic to have him back and, and build uh, upon his, his great breakout season last year he had with Vegas. If you know Jay Long, you know he's a flashy guy, and and he kind of shows in your roster. I want to talk about some of the flash. First of all, Chris Johnson, you, you got to be excited with what you see so far. It looks like CJ 2K. I don't know about the 2K, but it looks like CJ is back and uh, ready for a big year. Yeah, you know, Cliff, I, you know, our, 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 the success of our season pretty much hinges on a guy like Chris Johnson. You know, we made the move last year, and uh, we knew that, uh, you know, it wasn't for a one year thing. We were making a long term investment. We gave up Ray Rice, you know, uh, which had a career year, year last year, but we're really excited about Chris this year coming into camp in shape, no contract disputes, and we're expecting double digit touchdowns and, and at least 1,500 yards rushing from him this year. Well, Jameson, I made one of my patented bonehead trades last year with you, uh, getting Richard Mendenhall, who um, I had planned on being a keeper, being a feature back for the parliament. Uh, that didn't quite work out. And uh, you got yourself uh, Jamal Charles, who looks to be. 100% healthy and ready for a big year. I know uh, you're excited to have Jamal uh, on the roster this year. Yeah, you know, Cliff, we're, we're really excited to have him. It's always scary having a running back coming off uh, a major knee surgery. Um, but luckily, you know, for Jamal, it happened early in last year, so he's had pretty much a whole year to recover from that that type of injury. Uh, you know, there's there's some with Hillis being on the roster there. You know, he might steal some of the goal line. Fans, but uh, we're excited to have him. We think that him and uh, him and uh, Chris could combine for the most rushing yards in the league as a one-two combo. So again, we're thrilled to have him on the roster as well. And you got a steady guy like uh, Ahmad Bradshaw, who will certainly get his points, and uh, Kevin Smith, who's in line for a starting job as well. The running backs look good. The receiving core, headlined by a couple of veterans, Steve Smith and Anquan Bolden, and then you've got. The absolute monster, A.J. Green, who uh, is primed for a huge sophomore season. I know uh, it, you got to like A.J. and what he's able to do on the outside. Yeah, you know, we made a deal with Carolina at the, uh, at the end of last year and, and brought up the right to A.J. Green to, to Vegas. He's really going to be the difference maker this year. Uh, last year, at a weak spot, it was probably a wide receiver. And uh, in our hearts of hearts, we think A.J. Green, when it's all said and done, is going to be right up there with Megatron. Especially huh. with Stafford flinging the ball around to him. Uh, I mean, if you saw what the kid did last year as a rookie, which is typically the hardest position to transition into the PCFF, uh, man, we're just ecstatic about him. And then we think he's maybe the face of our franchise for the next 10 years or so. Jameson, you did something a little different at this year's draft. You were actually on the phone for pretty much the entire time. And it's tough, I know, to get what's going on, all the shit talk, uh, seeing how drunk Brock was from so far away and on speakerphone. But were you able to enjoy the draft at all? I noticed you also uh, had some cute little children around you as well. So how how were you able to enjoy draft day? Oh, it was great. You know, uh, we had uh, Vegas Vice President Jackson Long in the background <laughs> helping with selection. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, 
And then the assistant to him is his new brother, Brody, you know, helping out. He was actually the one that, that pulled the trigger on Amad, Amad Bradshaw. He's a big Bradshaw fan. Huh. So, uh, you know, he helped with the whole draft, draft selection process. Uh, I mean, sitting on the phone the whole time, uh, just to beat down, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, but no, it was good hearing all the guys' voice. I mean, you know, get to see who was drunk already, I think. But someone took RG3 in, like, the second round or something like that, so you can tell the... The booze is already flowing. So, but no, it's great to hear all you guys. And my anticipation next year is not to be on the phone, but maybe to be in, in living color uh, so you guys can all absorb the greatness, which is Jay Long in person. Not so. sure. Not sure if we could handle the, the swagitude you'd bring, but that would be so awesome to see Jay Long in it's the building. That, that I mean, man. I would only come for a weekend because, I mean, small doses is pretty much all the common man can handle. So, uh, but. Uh, but uh, we're going to try to make that happen next year. Awesome! That would be that would be epic, as the kids say. Uh, and in fact, the guy that took RG three in the first round was one Byron Hager, who was actually one of the only sober guys there. So maybe, oh, uh, maybe maybe he needs the drink. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, maybe, maybe hard narcotics would help. <laughs> Perhaps it would improve his uh, draft ability. Well, Jameson, uh, it's awesome to talk to you. Anything else you want to add before we uh, let you go here today? Hey, man, I mean, I hope everybody else is shining up their second-place trophy. <laughs> 2012, 13 is the year for Vegas. The West Coast is the best coast <laughs> with the best team. So, you know, we're bringing it strong this year. Jay Long with strong words, as always. Jameson, it's uh, been a lot of fun catching up with you. Hopefully we can do it uh, once the season begins. Pleasure. Let's do it again real soon. There he is, the brash, the cocky, but the all-around good guy, Jamison Long, joining us here on the PCFF podcast for the first time ever. Uh, figured we'd uh, roll out a small dose of the podcast for you today. Hopefully we can do it again next week, and then the following week, well, guess what? We'll be having games, and the PCFF cannot wait for that. For Jay Long, I am Cliff Brock saying so long, and we will talk to you again on the PCFF podcast.